Hey guys, today we're going to be installing our catalytic converter guards for the 2016 through 2023 Toyota Tacoma. These guards are going to be for our V6 4x4 trucks only, but we will be coming out with two-wheel drive and different engine options very soon. Here you can see the contents of the kit. You have your passenger and your driver guards, as well as our backing plates, which sit on the bolts that pass through your cross member, as well as our security hardware, which we will be installing after. Now our security hardware for these is a five lobe pattern with the pin in the middle, which is going to be different than any conventional Harbor Freight toolkits or any other security hardware set that you'll find at your local hardware store. So even if the thief brings tools, you will be safe with our security hardware. And here you can see the tools that we'll be using today. It's pretty basic. We have a 12 millimeter, a 14 millimeter. You have the socket for the security hardware. This actual bit itself will be included in the kit. So you have that for the security hardware. This is just the drive for the impact. You have a basic 3 8 ratchet, a 12 and a 14, a small hammer in order to tap the cross member bolts back out and back in, and of course our impact. The first step once we're underneath the truck is going to be to remove our stock hardware in order to fit up our guards. Now you can do this whether you're on jack stands in your driveway or on a full blown lift, it's equally as easy. Today we're just going to be using the lift because we have to fit video equipment in as well as do the work. So to start with we're going to remove our brace right here, it's going to be four 12 millimeter bolts. Make sure to go ahead and hang on to your stock hardware as we'll be putting two of these back on each side. Our next step is going to be to loosen the bolts passing through our cross member here. Now it's important not to back these all the way off or take them all the way out because they are supporting your cross member. But we want to give just enough room to slide the guard up on the front side of these bolts. Now, if the nut starts backing off the back side without your bolt coming out the front side at all, you're going to need to just take your little hammer and tap that bolt through to where you have that little bit of gap on the front side. You can see this first bolt has more than enough gap in order to slide the guard into place, but this second bolt, the nut just backed off the back side. So we will go ahead and tap that through. We still have the nut threaded on to the back side of those bolts just a little bit in order for safety. We don't want this cross member, of course, coming out if we were to pull too hard on these bolts or anything like that. So we're leaving just a couple threads engaged on the back side in order to prevent that. Now we're gonna install the passenger side guard all the way and get those bolts tightened back up before we move on to the driver side. That'll just prevent all four of those from being loose at the exact same time. Now, when we go to install them, you can see that we have signified passenger versus driver right down here at the bottom. So go ahead and grab the guard labeled P and we will go ahead and set it into place. Now, before we slide the actual guard into place, first we need to install the included spacer in the kit. Now this spacer sits in this little recessed area in order to make a flat surface for the guard to mount on. Now we're gonna go ahead and slide our cat guard into place. Once it's in place, we can go ahead and tap those bolts back through, which will hold our cat guard in place. Now, before we tighten back up our bolts on the back side of the cross member, let's go ahead and put our brace back in with one of the stock bolts per side and we'll leave the other hole open for our security hardware. Now we can install one of our security bolts in each of the open holes. Now that we have all of our bolts loosely installed, we can go ahead and tighten down those nuts on the back side of the cross member. Now we can go ahead and tighten down our stock 12 millimeter and our security hardware on our brace. And now we're gonna repeat the exact same process on the driver's side.
That concludes the catalytic converter guard install on our third gen Tacoma. We hope this was helpful with your installation and for more products go to allprooffroad.com.